All right, guys. So welcome back to the Real Quick Mike Swig podcast, and and we are keeping these going. And mm -hmm. today we have a special guest from Mr. Bogutsky here. This is the first time you've booked a guest. Yeah. And this is a guy who's been talking to you for quite some time, and he is a staple name in the MMA community. It's some, not, not some some guy that nobody's heard of. So go ahead and uh, tell us about how it this all came a, about. I just sitting at work, a.k.a. Thailand, and I just get a, a random text like, hey, what's up, man? Jim looks cool, blah, blah, blah. Start shooting the shit. A guy named Charles Bennett. Y'all might know him as old school crazy horse, but now he goes by felony. Um, I did a little Google on him. Little YouTube. You didn't even know who he was, and I you asked me, like, clue, yeah. dude, who is this Charles Bennett guy that keeps messaging me? And I was like, you don't know who Charles Bennett is? I had He's got 60 plus like fights. I, said, I had to hit the YouTube, and uh, wow. That guy's uh, in the middle of fights, he'll just go jump on top of the octagon yeah. fence and just pretend to fight from up there, and just a whole bunch of crazy shit. So. So I knew he had a good personality. We stayed in touch. He's a nice guy, you know. So And this is a long time ago. This, yeah, like yeah, two years ago. Yeah. So this has been ongoing, ongoing, on, going, on, yeah. going, and like he'll message us briefly here yeah. and there. And then now we have and the he podcast. Was, so. well, he was just in the news. Um he needs to pay rent. You know, he's not shy about it. So uh he got a fight with Cody Fister in uh, Amarillo, Texas on Saturday. So we figured we'd have him on, see what kind of crazy shit he says, and I'm sure it's gonna be Something I see him. And I do, I think we should. I'm not 100% about this gentleman, but some of the words that he says and some of the opinions opinions do not reflect <laughs> Mike Swick or Mark Bogetsky or James Spears or anybody who is associated with the podcast. We just gave him free reign uh, to see what he wants to say. So, yeah, Shit. so I guess uh, we'll just get right into it and yeah. uh, see what Charles Bennett's up to and this will just be another another aspect of MMA. I mean, mm -hmm. this is a guy who, like like you said, he just made a post saying he's got to pay his bills, he's got to pay his rent. I mean, we've had high level MMA fighters like Daniel Cormier who are champions in the sport. Mm -hmm. This is going to be the alternative: the guys that are trying to pay their rent and and trying to get by, and they've had sixty plus fights. Yeah, so. I think he'll he'll probably mention himself. He always says he's the the most famous fighter who's broke. So yeah. Well, this has got to be interesting it, for yeah. sure. So I'm I'm, ex I'm excited yeah. to have him on. So, all right, I'm I guess we'll, we'll we'll bring him on. Is, and, he on uh, is he ready? You got him on the Skype. Yep. All right. Well, let's bring cool. on Charles Here Bennett goes. then. All right, I want to welcome to the show Felony Charles Bennett. Yes. What's welcome. up, buddy? Welcome. Welcome How's, to welcome to the how's podcast. Everybody doing, man? We're good. What's everybody doing? What what uh what brand of cigarette is that right there? This is the black and mild. Like from the factory black and or mild, is it mild. aftermarket? From the factory. Oh, okay. From the factory. So the you have a fight coming up, right? You just you signed for a new fight? Yes, with uh Cody Pister. Pisfer. Piss something. Uh, Cody Pfister? The P silent. Yeah, that's him. Yeah. <laughs> you don't you don't really care who it is, right? No, I don't. But uh, since Cody's going to be paying my rent and my internet, cause they just turned my, let me tell y'all about what happened to me, man. Please. So I've been in South Carolina training and shit, you know? And uh, when I come back home, I don't, my internet's off, my cable's off. So I call my little brother over and I'm like, hey, man, I don't give a fuck about no cable, you know? So fuck that cable. But I need the internet. Cause I for, for that reason. Yeah, we we lost you. Yeah. All right, you're back. All right. You so you were saying you needed the internet, and then the internet went out. So now we're now we're back. All right, let's go. Yeah. So I I, I paid sixty four dollars for my internet, and uh, it was Saturday. So I was like, okay, internet paid. My daughter leaves. I'm gonna be back on this porn, jacking off and shit. There you so go. I live alone, so I walk around this bitch butt ass naked just jacking. Well, I see that they charged my card, my, my bank card, and there's nothing in it. You know what I'm saying? My, my bank card is in a negative right now, $300 negative in, in the bank. So Bank of America hits me again with $34, you know, because there's no money. But that's neither here nor there. So we get to this week. They hit my card, and they turn my internet off. They turn my internet off Friday. Fucking shit is shit. 
Well, you got to get in the center of the camera. There you go. All right, there we go. Perfect. There you go. You're good. You're good. You're good. Hey, how are you warm, Nick? No, no. <laughs> that's cool, too, but yeah, perfect. There we go. That's what or you can come close. No, no, don't be afraid. Come closer. Oh. There we go. All right. So let me ask you a question. Now, this stems back from Ryzen, the World Grand Prix, uh, New Year's Eve. You were supposed to fight, and I was there with Amir Ali Akbari, and you were supposed to come in, and it was a rematch. And you never made it. So there was all kinds of speculation about why you didn't show up and what happened. And, and I know you're excited about probably getting that fight again and hopefully getting another knockout. Wh what happened? Like, wh wh Where did you go? Uh, man, they, did, they denied my visa. And uh, they wouldn't give me an explanation why they denied it. They just denied it. and wouldn't tell me why. Huh. So I don't I don't know what what's going on because you know I'm just a dumbass nigga trying to make it in this world, then did all this damn shit and then paid respects for it. You know what I'm saying? Like y'all locked me up, y'all say I was a bad guy, so you gave me ten years and you put me in jail for three of them. And when I get out, y'all still fucking fucking with me. I, I don't understand it. I think they're just trying to keep a nigga down. So you were already trained for the fight, ready to go, and, and you found out, like, kind of, like, how, how long before the fight did you find out you weren't going? The day I was supposed to fly out. Because I, I never got my, uh, I never got my visa back, right? So I had to drive. I made a four and a half hour drive from where I stayed to go grab the visa, just in case they approved it. So that means I drove from O'Kella all the way to Miami which is like I say, a four and a half hour drive. And once I got there, I was like, uh, yeah, I came here to get my visa, did it come in? And it was like, yeah, it came in, but it was it was not approved. And if you try again, it's probably gonna get approved, uh, denied again. So this is, this is almost a year ago. I haven't tried it yet, but I, I, don't, I don't know, man. I don't, I don't know what I did so, wrong in life to piss everyone off i just i just try to go through life and not fuck with anyone you know so we know why you're fighting this next fight you, you said recently and you posted a comment on social media saying you want to pay your bills and get all that done what do you put into training so so how how do you train what's your training regimen like getting ready for these fights well i was in a Myrtle beach south carolina uh getting prepared for this fight. But then I came back to uh, Florida because uh, my kids are down here and the hurricane was threatening. So, I mean, I love my kids to death, so I, and I don't pretty much want to put them in the hands of another man, even though my kid's mom has a boyfriend, but no one's going to take care of your kids like you take care of your yeah. kids. I, I don't care. My life will go before theirs. Okay, so so what what is your training routine like? So like just uh, how often do you train? How many days a week? And and what what do you do? Well, uh, I trained four days last week. Uh, I was up all night. I, I would have went went and trained today with well, this morning, but I was up all night because uh, I don't know why I was up all night. I, I was supposed to be going to sleep, but. I was like, fuck that, man. I'm not going to sleep. I'm in for all night. And then I've been trying to get a hold of Cody, Cody uh, P. P. Fister. <laughs> the P is silent there, player. When When is that fight? Okay. Well, that fight is this Saturday. Oh, so I've shit. Been calling Cody. <laughs> yeah, I've been, I've been calling Cody. Yeah, I've been calling Cody P. Fister all night and day. And he, he's not been returning my calls and so i'm kind of getting worried over here on this side you know what i mean yeah. like damn nigga you ain't responding to my calls and shit and i'm supposed to be beating your ass this weekend for this rent money don't have me beating up the rent man for his money because <laughs> i ain't got his money that wouldn't be good yeah well, hey I, i'm new to the fight game <laughs> do you normally call your opponent three days before you fight him uh no, nah, I, I, I don't. I normally don't even have my opponent's number. But considering uh, Cody, 
Cody's uh is a UFC veteran, yeah. Bellator veteran. So I'm a fan. I'm a big fan of Cody. But I really want that win under my belt from Cody. So So how how is this fight going to play out? Calling, how, how what? How is this fight going to play out? Like like in your mind, what, what are you going to go out there to do? What, what's your what's your goal to to how well, are you going to win this fight? The whole time I was in South Carolina, I was wrestling and doing jiu-jitsu. Because to me, to me, standing cardio and wrestling cardio are two different cardio. Right. And if you don't know what I mean by that, uh, just just constantly go in there and wrestle, 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 and then constantly stand up and stand up. You'll get more tired of wrestling than you will standing so uh yeah my thing of it is i see cody likes to take people down and uh the sad part about it is he lost against fucking that fucking ugly ass white boy what's his name there's a lot of them i don't know ah good one <laughs> but I, I i'm talking about that guy Sage North Nut. Uh, Sage Northcutt. You know oh, he lost. North Nut, Nick. No, North well, Nut. No, he, well. Oh, that's right. He, he fought Sage. Yeah, he fought Sage. Northcutt and lost to him. Yeah, yeah. To a guillotine choke. Sage is not a fucking wrestler. How do you lose to a guillotine? So my thing of it is, is yeah, we're probably going to wrestle. Cause I want Cody to see how strong a nigga is. I've been taking steroids. There you I've been go. Shooting it up in the butt. Yeah, man. I'm on the steroids heavy. So you're not you're not like tested. you're not really they for that you saw the stuff. Yeah. How you say what? You're not really for that you saw the stuff. What what is that you saw the stuff? I'm exactly. So I'm I'm what we're saying is you you don't give a shit if you get drug tested. No, I do, nigga. Let me tell y'all something, man. I ain't got no other job. So if I can't fight, nigga, I'm kicked out. And if I'm kicked out, nigga, I'm homeless. And if I'm homeless, nigga, then I got to do something to stay yeah. out the goddamn pen. And that's sleep on the street. So nah, bro, I do care about getting tested. And me telling y'all that I'm using steroids, I mean, you would be a fool to believe me. I was just making anyone sure. Anyone would be a fool to believe anyone that tells them, yeah, I, I smoked crack last night. I, got, I don't I don't put some, I'll, I'll be honest. I'll be honest. I don't put you on somebody that takes steroids because I don't I don't I don't think you think that you need them. Uh, that's, that's the take that I get from you. I, I feel like that you I, I totally believe you wouldn't take steroids because I think you in your mind, you think you can just knock anyone out and not need steroids. And you have and you've no, done it before. And here's the thing, though. Here's the thing. It's, it's not that I, I feel that I can knock anyone out without them. I just know I'm stronger than anyone in my weight without it. You know what I'm saying? So if, I, don't, I don't give a fuck if you're on steroids. You know what I'm saying? You can be on steroids and, you know, and all that fuck shit. But I'm, I'm going to be stronger than any 55er, any 45er out there. All I, like I say, all I need is just to get in the gym and, and just stay training. I stay in the gym, stay training. You guys will see what I mean by I'm stronger. Like yeah. steroids, this is steroid strength. You know, what I mean? this this strength here is unbelievable. Like heavyweights can't even submit this guy. They're two on they're two on one. My my one is stronger than their two on one any day of the week. So do y'all understand that? Oh yeah, yeah, I got you. I got you. So you obviously said yeah. Let me let me break that down. Let me break that down for you guys. My two on one, right? Meaning, if I go for a Kamora or a Key Lock, I'm probably gonna get it. But if they go for it, they're probably not gonna get it. Cause I'm gonna lock that bitch. I'm gonna lock that bitch. I'm gonna lock. You see that man? That shit is real. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, so what are you weighing right now? What, what's your walking weight? And you're a week out from your, well, not even a week out from your fight. You're yeah. you're half a week out Five from your fight. Yeah, uh, well, I jumped on the scale last night. I was 158. I was like, fuck yeah. 
Okay. But it's working out. Where is it's the fight? Paying. Yeah, where's the fight and how do we watch huh? this? Uh, the fight is in a Aromino or A M R. I mean A M A R I L L O. Amarillo, Texas. Yeah. See, I couldn't. I couldn't read it, but I could damn sure spell it. So I'm not a dumb nigga. No. I'm all right, nigga. Though. Well, that's... So where are you at right now? How far are you away from Amarillo? <laughs> uh, on the bus, two days. On a plane, four hours. So you're just gonna fly in? Like, I mean, you got to be getting your flights and stuff booked by now. Yeah, but see, that's the thing. Uh, I I haven't talked to Cody, man. I've been calling Cody all night. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, because I still got to do my my CAT scan. You know what I'm saying? And again, I am the brokest, famous fighter you'll ever meet. <laughs> what do I mean by that? I'm so famous to like, where's the fucking money? Why the fuck am I struggling to fucking pay five hundred and fifty dollars? Why did I fucking fight a 170 so I can pay $550? I don't know. But eventually this shit's going to get better. I tell people all the time. Like this one dude, right? This one guy. I met this guy. He broke his... He, he lost his leg, guys. He lost his leg, right? And uh, he hits me up on Facebook and he's like, Hey, man, I'm a big fan. I really would like to meet you, this and this and this. I will pay you to come where you are. And I was like, nah, man, you lost your leg in a, in, in a motorcycle accident. I'll come where you are because I just got my driver's license. So I don't mind driving. So I go see this guy, and uh, this guy had six DVDs. They were all DVDs of me, which indicated to me, yeah, he was a true fan. So I traded numbers with this man, and um, and I and I let him come to my house and hang out. But in the in the, the midst of this, he comes here, and every time he comes here, he's like, "Can I get a picture? Can we take pictures? Can we take pictures?" And I'm like, "Damn, why are we always taking? You know what I'm saying? Like, there's a, there's a difference between fan and friend. You know what I'm saying? Friends, we don't take pictures all the time. We don't take pictures every time we see them." Mm. Fans gonna want a picture every time, right? Right. So I told you, like, man, the next time you ask for a picture, we're not gonna be friends anymore because you're just a fan. He was like, all right, all right, I won't ask for one. And he asked me again, asked me again. So from that point on, I cut him short. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, he calls, I wouldn't answer his call. He texts, I wouldn't respond to him. But every now and then, you know what I'm saying? I would. So he was my friend on Facebook as well. And he used to always write these fucking crazy ass posts, which I kind of felt that, yeah, sooner or later, this guy's going to kill himself because uh, when I went to his house, this man had over 500 skateboards, different skateboards. Oh, I'm talking about nice skateboards. So with him losing his leg, yeah, he, he was going to be pushing to that, 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 that side. And um, my lady friend was over the other day, and I was telling her, like, man, you know what? I haven't seen dude posting no crazy shit on Facebook in a little minute. I bet he done killed himself. <laughs> and guess what? He did? <laughs> I, I go on dude page yesterday, and he killed himself. Shit. Damn. You should have taken a picture with And you know what, though? Taking a picture. Hey, it, it's not on me, though. Cause I, I cut him off way before he he you know what I'm saying? Cause I knew it was going to I I, I kind of feel bad though. Yeah. Because I, I maybe if I would have been around a you know what I'm saying I probably could have prevented that. Then at the same time, it's a double-edged sword. Cause maybe if I was around and it got to the point where you know he, he was kill you doing too. that crazy shit. No, not kill me, because ain't nobody finna kill me. I'm killing shit, but ain't nobody gonna kill me. But eventually, if I had, you know what I'm saying, he started that crazy shit, and I'm like, I pulled back from him then, then I would be sure enough the reason why he killed himself. So, in the midst of it, 
I'm on his page and I, I see all these comments. Oh, rest in peace and this and that. And I do my research. So I go and I'm like, yeah, because I don't know why he killed. How I don't know how he killed himself or how he died pretty much. But I know he killed himself. And he had so many guns. So I, I could have thought he was going to kill himself with one of those guns. He had millions of guns. Well, when I read it, this dude hung himself. He fucking go and check into this Baker active place and they say he was belligerent in there and then the police were standing outside looking through the window and seeing that he was hanging from a cord that he snatched out the wall or some shit. So Yeah, man, sorry to hear that. That sucks, man. Um So Well well it's not on me though. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but still that's, you knew him, you know. Right. Yeah, yeah. It sucks when anybody does that. So on a, on a on a lighter well, I should say lighter side, but mm. uh, so the the issue with you and and Vanderlei Silva, how, how's that going now? Because I mean, I heard there was back when you were going to go to Japan, there was talk of you meeting him, and and you know this stems back from a long, long time ago, back in the locker room. Where do you stand with Vanderlei Silva right now? Well, I'm still calling him Candy Lay, so that means he does not earn my respect. Candy Lay is still a little boy, you know what I'm saying? Like, I look at it like this, you know what I'm saying? This shit has been over 10 years, man. We grow up, you know what I mean? But at the same time, don't get mad with the little guy, you know what I'm saying? You guys took the original tape and fucking chopped it and fucking did all this fuck shit to it and, and, and tried to make it seem like I was lying about this whole ordeal of knocking you out. But you guys made it seem like, oh, well, this is what really happened to Charles. But yeah, this is what happened to Charles. You know what I'm saying? But let's see what happened to Candelay after Charles got up. You know what I mean? Like, let's see what happened then. But you guys are not going to show that. Why not? Because you guys wanted to make the little guy seem like, oh, whatever, this and that. But there was a, I wasn't the only one in that room. You know what I'm saying? There was... There was a lot of Chinese guys in, I mean, Japanese guys in that room. There was a lot of Brazilians in that room. And then there was just one me. You know what I'm saying? It was just me. So, again, how it all steams out is when I, when I had seen Candy Lay in Japan, when I first seen him, I was like, what's up, my nigga? Let me get a picture. And he was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So as I go to walking up on him, he sees me. And realize who I am with his old ass. You know he's old. Cause it, <laughs> I wasn't too far from that old ass nigga. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but uh, he seen me and he started wiggling his dick at me. Fuck you. Fuck you, motherfucker. So I'm like, oh, okay. So we're still on the dumb shit. You know what I'm saying? He talking shit to me. I'm talking shit back because that's what I do. You know what I'm saying? I'm a shit talker, you know? So fuck him. You know what I mean? And then that's that's when you guys, because I, I went live, you know what I'm saying? I went on fucking uh, Facebook Live after he started yelling and shit. I went on Facebook Live and was like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? And everyone's seen it, you know? And like I said, you know, People look at that footage, and I, I don't know if they uh, they understand. Like, they can sit there and say, I was scared. But I sit there and say, nah, I wasn't scared. Candy Lay knew how far, where to stand. You know what I mean? Like, he, he knew. This, this. We, lo we lost yeah. you for a second. Hang on one second. We lost you for two seconds. Okay, go ahead. So, um, so I was going to ask you, what do you think about the uh, like that McGregor Mayweather fight? What's your take on that? Like, uh, you've been around the sport for a long time, so you, you've been there since the beginning, and there was no money, and it was it was you know the grassroots, I, and and now seeing where it's that, gotten now, that, you know. That's 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 my point right now. That that is the point I'm I'm I, I I speak on all the time. Like, damn, these guys just made millions of dollars. You know what I'm saying? But what what have I done for the sport? 
You know what I'm saying? What did I do for this sport of MMA? You know, when there was no money, when the UFC wasn't big, when there was no Bellator, you know what I'm saying? And no one wants to give me a chance. It's not like I'm going to jail anymore. It's not like I'm out here getting in trouble anymore. You know what I mean? Like, I'm out here. I'm going to be out here. My kids are. I got a 15-year-old, 13-year-old, 6-year-old, and a 4-year-old. So I'm going to be out here with these kids. I'm not going to be doing any goofy stuff to get in trouble. But at the same time, why can't I get a chance, though? You know what I mean? Like, I paid my debt to society. When I did the crime that I was uh, accused of doing, I did jail time for it, but yet the UFC and all these people want to look at it like, you know, I'm such a bad guy when shit, I should be like the guy that you should use for shit, you know what I'm saying? Because at the simple fact, I've been through it, so why can't I speak good about it, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. It's not right to uh, put your hands on women and, and, and fight women, but at the same time, what about women, though? Am I supposed to just sit there and let a woman beat me up or beat on me? You know what I'm saying? Look how many women are going to prison for murder. You know, like, seriously. Life, life has taught me a lot, man. You know, and, and I come from a fucked up family. I, when I say fucked up, my shit is fucked up. But I'm still alive, you know what I'm saying? There's no story of me thinking about killing myself or. All right, so it said, uh, you said there's no story about you killing yourself, and then the uh, the connection dropped. Yeah. So the last thing we heard was there's yeah, no story about me killing myself. Yeah, there, like I said, there, there's no thought of, thoughts of me killing myself because, you know. You, you know what the name felony, you know what that, that, that means? It stands for fuck everybody left defendant next year. My brothers sent me to prison. My brothers, they lied and sent me to prison. So with that being said, the name says a lot and everyone probably frowns upon it. But at the same time, I've done a lot of good stuff with this name so far. I hold the fastest knockout in Japan for Ryzen. You know, I've, uh, since I've been out of prison, I've been out of prison two years now. I've uh, traveled to at least three different countries. You know, just because you have felonies, just because you go to prison doesn't mean that life is over. You know what I'm saying? You can still do stuff. There's still... I'm in internet difficulties again. There you go. We, we, we. So yeah, definitely heard your message though. So, uh, so just in general, what do you think of someone like Conor McGregor? Like overall, what's your opinion of, of someone like Conor McGregor? Hey man, give me my props. Again, you know all these guys, all these. I've been in this sport from damn near day one. I, I can't. I'm 25. I'm 37. So, again, what have, what have I done for this sport that I don't deserve a chance? You know what I'm saying? Connor was a lad when I was fighting, you know? Which means, uh, guess who he was looking at? So, a lot of these young and up-and-coming fighters, hey, man, you got people flipping off the cage, doing the black flip off the cage. Who was the first nigga y'all seen do that shit? I'll wait. <laughs> You're looking at it. <laughs> why did they turn my internet off? I, you know, I don't understand why they turned my internet off. They gave me internet for one week, $67, and then they turned my internet off. That's not right. That is not. This is what I go through in life, man. You know what I'm saying? This is what I go through in life. One week. And then they turn me in on it all. And wouldn't turn it back on. Wouldn't so, do nothing for me. So who would you like to fight? Like if you if you could fight I, if you could fight anyone in the sport right in you know, your next fight after this next one that you have coming up this weekend, who ideally would you like to fight? Uriah Faber. You fought Uriah before, so it's been a long time. So you want to fight him again? You want him to come back and fight you? Yeah. 
hey, did, did you not see that fight, man? Uriah, Uriah, I mean, he, he, he normally dominates people back then. He was dominating people. And, uh, I, I held, I held out pretty good until I got tired. And, and that's, that's when it was over. I got tired and that's when it was over. And that, that's why I, I, I enjoy training now because it's, you know, I get in there and it, I'm competing against not just my teammates, but my friends and, and it, 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 it's a good feeling, man. Cause those guys push. And if they're pushing, then you gotta push. So, so, so why do you want to fight Uriah? <laughs> why do you think it's gonna be different this time? Why? Yeah. What, what do you want to fight him for? Like, what, what do you want to, what do you want to prove? That I can knock him out. So you want to get a knockout over Uriah? Yeah. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> yeah, that's it though. So, so what's yeah, what's Uriah what's gonna be, happen? What's gonna happen if this fight this weekend doesn't go through and like you don't you don't get to make this fight? Oh man! <laughs> oh man! I I don't know, man. Cause I, I don't have a plan to. You know what I'm saying? I don't have a backup plan. Uh, I see my landlord yesterday at the courthouse, right? And and it, it's just crazy because again, man, I haven't. I haven't stayed in this apartment in, in a little minute because I've been I've been doing a lot of traveling back and forth to China, back and forth to South Carolina. So I haven't even been staying in my apartment. But I pay this man every month. When I say I pay him every month, I pay him five hundred and fifty dollars every month. So I seen him, uh, and when I'm not here, I send my brother to uh, to pay him, cause my bills still got to get paid, so I have a place to come stay when I come home. That's how I went to prison. You know, I was staying with my brothers, and uh, when they didn't want me there anymore, they couldn't kick me out because it was the family house. So they found another way, but I'm cool now. I'm in my own shit. I pay my own rent, all that. It's a struggle. It's a fucking struggle, but it, it gets paid. So yeah, for this weekend, I I don't I don't know if, if this fight doesn't go through. I don't know what the fuck. So who who yeah. do you who do you deal with to get fights? Because you say you've been talking to him personally. Do you have a manager that's helping you get these fights, or or who are you dealing with? Are you going out on your own, calling uh, promotions, or who who's setting these up Pretty for you? Pretty much, uh, promotions reach out to me. You know. Um, as much as I hate the name Crazy Horse, that name still, people still wants to promote it and, and, and all this stuff. And and it's, it's another reason why I'm, I'm, I, I like going to the gym now because a lot of these guys, I know I'm, I'm way better than a lot of these guys. I know I am. So... These guys are trying to use my name as a as a stepping stepping stone, you know, to get it like 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 I just fought Ray uh, Ray Cooper at 170. I couldn't even I couldn't even make 170. I weighed in at probably 161 with nothing on, you know. So uh, again, man, I get these fights. Just so I can these cheap ass fights, so I could stay, man. So I could I could have a place to lay my head for my kids to come over and shit, you know. Do you have a backup plan? I mean, or not a, a lot of more money. Not a backup plan, but do you, do you? Yeah, man, I want to get into acting. I want to get into acting, man. No, and and that's I, I've I've been I've been searching the internet for agents, you know, rampage. I asked Rampage. Rampage is a bitch, man. He's a real fucking bitch. You know, like, as, as long as I've been trying to get into this act and Rampage fucking, you know, nigga, you got the key, but you don't want to, you don't want to help no one out. Why not? Why, why don't you want to, you know what I'm saying? I, I've sat down and talked to this man and, and everything. Like, 
you you don't want to give a nigga the, the 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 key to get into this shit. Like you know a nigga want to get into acting. So yeah, I'm I'm gonna continue to uh. <clears throat> Cody just hit me up, guys. So that's uh, I was kind of worried. I really was. So he just hit you up right he now. What would he yeah, say? Is the fight uh, on? Is the fight on or what? Huh? Is the fight on? Hey, what's up, bro? My phone. Oh, I will have it working by five. Okay. Yeah, I just, yeah, I just, I just needed a response, man. I, didn't, I don't know what was going on, you know. I just needed a response. So your, so your end game is you want to be an actor and you get in, get into acting. And and was Rampage going to help you? Like, was he? Did he say he was going to help you, or did nah, you just reach out to him and nah, he didn't want to help you? That's that's what I'm saying. He he never said it. He he never said it. And when I asked him about it, he pretty much was like, nah, you, nah, I can't do that for you. You know, what I'm saying I don't, I don't, I don't know nobody. You know. And and it's 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 like it's another black brother trying to keep another black brother down. That's all it is. Fuck Rampage. You know what I mean? Fuck that nigga. When I make it, I you know like I say, man, I I've been pretty much raising myself since I was like fifteen, twelve, fifteen, maybe twelve. Cause my dad jumped on me when I was twelve. And then I went and stayed with my auntie. And then he tried to jump on me again when I was 15. But little did he know. <laughs> yeah, I was fighting back, man. And at that time, I was whooping niggas on the streets left and right. Big niggas too, guys. I'm talking about heavyweight, welterweights, little weights. So yeah, it, it's been a rough life for a nigga. And again... Rampage don't want to help a nigga out. Fuck that nigga, you know what I'm saying? My my success story, my life is going to be a movie. So, uh, you know, I, I you, you guys know any uh, promoter, I mean, uh, writers, publishers? I wrote, I wrote, the three years I was in prison, three years, I wrote a fucking, I wrote in a journal every fucking day, like, Every day in this fucking prison. And uh, the journal is back, about this thing. It's in my room right now. Let me go get it for you. Let me yeah, go, go get, get it. Journal. Let's see. Let's One check day. it out. We got, we got 50. Ah, fuck. Ah, yeah. yeah it's, I know it there. On the 12th. And I just fucking made a big ass mess, show. Yeah, see this shit here, man? Can y'all see that? So that, that's what you wrote in prison, that entire journal. Yeah, yeah. I wrote in this video. And is that is that your whole life story? I mean you finished it? Nah, nah, it's 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 not it's not my life story. It's my life story in prison though. It's what I did every day in prison, from fights to seeing gay shit to <laughs> Tell us, tell us a story. Tell us a prison story that, that that would shock us. Something like a, a real life. What prisons really like that that maybe people don't know or would expect. What's something you've seen? Okay. Okay. How about this then? All right. There was this guy, right? There was these guys, and uh, I woke up to a fight. So like 10 o'clock in the morning, I wake up, there's some guys arguing, eh, fighting and shit. So I jump out the bunk, because uh, one of the guys, you know, he was he was cool. Right, you said one of the guys, you woke up to the guy, and one of the guys was cool, and then we lost you. So go from there. One of the guys was cool. No, no, no. I, I, I'm saying, when I woke up, one of the guys, they, they were fighting, right? And, and and in prison, niggas always trying to bully the white boys. You mm. know what I'm saying? Every time. It 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 never fails from jail to prison. Niggas always bullying the white boys. I don't like bullies, so you know, I I stepped up and uh <laughs> and uh 
at the time when I stepped up, you know, I I wasn't I wasn't expecting a fight. But I ended up getting in a fight and yeah, I, I totally lost the fight. Totally lost the fight. And when I found out who I lost the fight to, it was fucking devastating. Who who'd you lose it to? The fucking guy I lost the fight to was a punk. Fucking faggot. Fucking sissy. How'd you lose the fight then? Or like what happened? Fucking, huh? How'd you lose the fight? What happened? So well, okay. We were in we were in open bay, right? Open bay is uh there's no nowhere to hide in open bay. You know what I'm saying? The police can look in there and see you. At this time I had them been in prison for uh I wanna say like twenty one months. I had them been in prison for twenty one months with no infraction. So at the time I was trying to go to work release. Work release is a place where you go when you get out of prison. I would, you'd be still in prison, but you go and you work there. Yeah. So when you get out of prison, you have some money to, you know what I'm saying? You, you're not broke when you get out of prison. So I'm 21 months good. These people don't want to let me go to work release anyways because of my my criminal history. But it's my first time in prison, so... I deserve that right, that chance to to uh, go, but they didn't let me go. So, like I say, 21 months, I, I'm, no infractions, no trouble, this and that. Well, we're in open bay, so I really don't want to fight this dude because I don't want to fuck up my 21 months of good and still have a reason to say, hey, you guys need to let me go to work release because if you don't let me go to work release, when I get out of here, I ain't going to have no money. And I'm going to be, you know what I'm saying, homeless again, just like before I came in here. And uh, pretty much I got in this fight, and I was trying not to get in this fight, but it ended up happening, and, and dude hit me two times. I never got a hit off. I took him down, and the police came in and uh, broke us up, took us to lockdown. And then when they was doing the investigation, that's when I found out, yeah, you know he's a punk, right? Fucks these these boys around here, and the nigga don't even look like a punk. He he don't look like he fuck with niggas at all. You know what I'm saying? That's the that's the crazy part about prison. You'll see a nigga, and you won't even know if this nigga fuck with a man or not. I mean, man, I seen some crazy shit in prison. I did the, the gayest shit I seen in prison was a man grabbing another man's dick, and his dick getting hard. That's when I realized, yep, I'm never coming back. I'm going to get out and I'm going to fucking make my life a movie because I didn't deserve to go to prison. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, I beat her. Yeah, I beat her, but that, that, I didn't I didn't provoke anything. I wasn't the one throwing the stones, meaning I wasn't the one throwing the hits. So and that's why I don't fuck with my family. I don't I don't really fuck with none of my family right now because when all this was going on, I would call my auntie, I would call my uncle, and I would be like, Hey man, Amber's on All right, go ahead. We lost you. So you were calling, no. you were calling your uncle? Yeah, I called my uncle. I called my auntie. But no one felt the need to go over there and say anything to this girl. You know what I'm saying? At least, you know, and, and, and that's how I feel about it. Like, okay, this is my family, but this is my brother's girlfriend. So with that being said, you guys, if I'm telling y'all that this chick is putting her hands on me, yeah, y'all got to come over here and tell her, listen, you're going to either keep your hands off this man or you're going to have to get out because this our house, this our family house. You, you know what I'm saying? But no one came and said anything, you know what I'm saying? No one came. So when it all boils down to it, the last time she put her hands on me, yep, I fight women, men, 
children, retarded people. Wow. If you hit me, we're gonna fight. <laughs> you guys never heard that quote? I'll send it to you. <laughs> <laughs> we heard you say it. Yes. So, so uh, where can uh, where can we catch this fight if it happens this uh, this weekend? I mean, is it is it going to uh, be online or anything? Or yeah, uh, I think it is though. I, I think it is. So, so l- last question I want to ask you is: uh, I, Go ahead. I'm listening. So, what what gym do you train at right now? Like, where are you where are you training out of? Well, I was at a uh, fitness. Fitness Edge MMA in uh, Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. That's where you're training uh, out for this fight? Huh? That's where you're training for this fight? Or we're training for this fight? Yeah, that's that's where I was training. And so now you're just waiting to get this fight going? Yeah. That, that's it now. All right, well, we're going to – and what's the name of the show? Uh, fist fight. All right, we'll put the we'll put the information in the description. So if we get this posted before Saturday, we'll put the information so people can check it out. Are you the main event? Yes. Oh, nice. All right. All right, man. Well, thanks so. thanks for taking time out of your day to talk to us and uh, give us some good insight to your life and and and, and your story. Yeah. And uh, did you vote for Trump? I said, hell no. I ain't vote for Hillary neither. But uh, Vladimir Putin is my president. <laughs> 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 hey, what's up, though, man? I asked y'all, to, hey, what, what, what's up with this, man? I need somebody to read this, tell me what they think, go from there. What what can we do with this? All right, well, the, the, the floor is yours. So, so, so go ahead and shout out to... Whatever you want, and and whoever you're looking for, we'll give the floor to you. So go ahead and uh, and and see if we can uh, find someone for you. All right, man. Well, I I don't know any producers, promoters, but I want to get into acting. So if there's any acting agents out there, hit me up. I got all this footage, all over the internet, all these face shots. I need a chance. I need a job. <laughs> real shit, guys. No real shit. But I, I yeah. I don't need a manager. And how does people, how does people get a hold of you? Felony three five two at gmail dot com. F E L O N Y three five two at gmail dot com. All right. Cool. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram as well. Instagram felony three five two. Hey, I got like thirteen thousand followers on Instagram, and about ten thousand of them are Russians. Yeah. Y'all think it's a game? No. Ten thousand no. of my followers. Are I, hey, I'm, I'm going to Moscow in, in one day. Hey, at least from Moscow. Yeah, I, I see. I see Moscow up there on the. Uh, yeah. <laughs> the corner. I'm going there. I'm going there yeah. tomorrow. So I'm I'm heading out tomorrow to Moscow. Actually. Oh yeah, what's what's going on over there? I just I have some friends there that have gyms in uh, Moscow, and Khabib's got like uh, Eagles MMA, and then my my buddy Tolia's got like Ultimate Fitness. So I just go there and train. I have a gym in Thailand here, and so uh, a lot of Russians and, and Russian speaking. Uh, countries come over to our gym so we have a huge demographic of russian speaking uh i bet i bet you can't get me a fight in russia oh there we go I, you, I, i'll try i'll talk to him i'll tell him you want to fight in russia when are you when are you gonna come to <laughs> when are you gonna come to ak thailand your boy uh, aj came when, when are you up oh man man that's I don't have the money. That's 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 the only problem, man. A- AJ has the money. I don't have the money, man. Like you see what I'm doing right now. When I say, man, I am struggling, man. Yeah. Like, and if this fight doesn't go through, I'm, I'm I don't know what I'm gonna do, man. Like I gotta I gotta think of something, though, man. Well, I and think the best thing is just kick Cody's oh, ass and just do weird dumb shit like you always do. Good antics, get known again. Yeah. Get some sponsors. Yeah, well. The difference is, like I say, I I just hope the fight goes through, you know what I'm saying? 
I don't. I'm, I'm not worried about what's going to happen in the fight because, again, uh, Cody Cody let a stage North nut <laughs> choke him out. You know what I'm saying? So if stage North nut can choke old Cody out, then I, I know my strength is way. It's ten times stronger than uh. This is I'm telling you I I've, I've been taking steroids, <laughs> popping steroids and shit. You know taking. Yeah, but man, you know, man, shit. Sage. If you have seen Sage though, man, he's got Instagram too, and man, he's he's shredded to the bone. He might be pretty damn strong yeah, himself. He might be pretty what? Sage might be pretty strong himself, man. He's if you see all the pictures of him on Instagram, man, he's he's jacked. Yeah, not that I, I'm looking at Sage's pictures on Instagram. I'm just, I'm just saying, he looks jacked. He's like, he's like, t- he's like drinking like like milk and he's flexing and he's like putting something in the fridge. He's like flexing, but he's jacked in like every photo. Hey, so oh, bef- hey, listen, I didn't tell you guys about the time I was in fucking China, nigga, and this fucking faggot, this fucking faggot was posing as a woman. Did I tell you guys about that? Uh uh-uh. uh. Did you guys hear about that? I've heard plenty of these stories from Mark, but. Yeah, it's kind of my thing. You said what? I've, I've heard plenty of these stories from Mark hanging out here in Thailand, but I haven't heard <laughs> any from you yet. Oh, man. So I'm in China, right? And I'm posting all kind of weird shit on Facebook because, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's what I do. And I say weird shit. I'm like, yeah, I won't. Where the hairy pussy women at? Where the five o'clock shadow pussy women at? You know, I'm just... So I get a message, a notification, and it's a woman. I go try to look at the pictures. I can't see the pictures because me and her ain't friends. So I go to messaging her. So she's messaging back. So we messaging each other and shit. And I try to call the woman. She don't answer my call. She like, oh no, the camera's broke, this and that, that and this. So I'm like, okay then. So. We talking. I said, well, damn, what you like to do? The woman said, I thought it was a woman. The woman said that I thought was a woman. Said, I like to have sex. So I'm like, see, I'm looking at this picture. And nah, this bitch, this is too pretty to be talking like that. You know what I'm saying? So I asked her again. She's like, yeah, I like to have sex. So I'm like, okay, cool. So I say, send me a picture and I send you one. So... The man, the woman that I thought was a man, well, I mean, the woman that I thought was a woman sends me this picture of this, of this pussy. So I'm like, okay. So I take a picture. I'm in China, butt ass naked on the couch, like this here with my phone, taking a picture, <laughs> chee, chee, smiling and everything. Chee, chee, chee. And I sent it to this woman that I thought was a woman. So next thing you know, I tell the woman, hey, send me a picture like that. She tells me, no, send me a picture with your dick hard. I tell her, well then if you send me one like I just sent you, I can send you a picture with my dick hard. She like, nah. When you do that, then I send it. So I go through my camera, looking for my pictures, find one of my pictures with my dick heart. Send it to this woman that I thought was a woman. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So and and this whole conversation is through uh messenger on Facebook. Never talked to him, never talked to me. So this whole conversation is through Messenger. So now I don't send him this hard dick. I'm telling her that send me a picture like the one I just sent you. She tells me, I thought she was a she, tells me, I'm not your type. I said, wait. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so at this <laughs> hey, listen, at this point in time, I'm ready to kill this motherfucker. Cause now you did oh man. So anyways, she says, he say now, he say I'm not your type. 
So I'm like, what you mean you're not my type? He say, I say, you a man? He say, yeah. I say, I'm a man too. Still send that picture though. <laughs> he, I didn't, I didn't see that coming. I didn't, yeah. I didn't see that one yeah. coming. And, <laughs> and, and I still got the messages. Just in case you motherfuckers try to blackball me. I still got all our messages. <laughs> so, but I'm going to send you guys, I'm going to send you the video on uh, Mark. Yeah. All right. I'm going to send you the video. Well, can you but, send, uh, can you send Mike one of those pictures where you're on the couch? No, that's okay. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. That's all right. <laughs> hey, that's retarded. Hey, but so yeah. Um, Oddly enough, I send me that video. I'll look at it. Why not? <laughs> Just now, send I'm, it. I'm gonna see the video. Now, here's the here's the story though. So I'm I'm here, right? I'm, I'm up here in China. This is Saturday night. I'm in here in China on a Saturday night, right? So, uh, yeah, when he tell, when I tell him that, I, you know, I'm a man too, still send that picture though. He was like, no, for real, I'm a dude. I say, I won't tell if you don't. He say, for real? I say, yeah, cause now I'm thinking, I gotta fucking get, listen man, y'all don't understand nigga. I'm a heterosexual nigga, man. I love fucking women, right? But, you know how bad it would look if this faggot showed a picture with me like this here in his Facebook? Yeah, it makes me look like I'm gay too. Like I was just voluntarily sending this man <laughs> pictures of you, my car. You know what I'm saying? Like what the fuck? So with that being said, um, yeah, he fucking um. That's when I got him. And, and from there, he was like, yeah, so this and that. And, you know, the, the nastiest thing I, I can ever read coming from a man is another man telling me that he horny. <laughs> like, bitch, I don't give a fuck that you motherfucking horny, nigga. What the fuck wrong with you? You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't care to fucking know that you horny, motherfucker. What, bitch, you gay. You is, know? is that but, why... Is that why you do that hashtag little dick black man or whatever the hell? No, no, yeah, that hashtag little dick black man stands for. Well, I know what it stands on, for. Come on, lady. It, it means it's little, you know what I'm saying? They they say all black men got big dicks. Well, uh, I don't know what happened with this black man. You know what I'm saying? I took I took the I took the Indian equation. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so uh, that, that's where I'm at. You know, well, those are some fun but, facts yeah, about so, you, man. Appreciate you sharing. Uh, yeah, man. Well, the thing of it is, I I came back Saturday. No, I I was on the plane Sunday. Monday, I was at dude's house. He, I I told him I was in town. I had to meet him. You know what I'm saying? And so, the funny thing so, is, the funny thing is, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. So wait a minute, hold on. You up, went to that dude's house. So after all this, you went and met this guy. <laughs> Hold on, hold on. The funny thing is when he told me, because the whole time he was like this and that, and when he told me who he was, this nigga was in my inbox way back in 2011. This faggot ass nigga was trying to fuck me in 2011, man. God so why not go to his damn. house? So, so now it's 2017, nigga. And you come jumping in my inbox as a goddamn woman. I'm thinking it's. A... <laughs> Hang on, yeah, we I'm lost you. <laughs> huh? So you so you were saying he came back in your inbox in 2017 as a woman. Yeah, as a woman. So of course, yes, I went and met this nigga. You know what I'm saying? I had to meet this nigga. Y'all don't understand. This nigga we had didn't have pictures. To. Faggot ass nigga had pictures of me with the phone, big smile, nose shining, big slinging. You know what I'm saying? So were you gonna just go try to like take the photos back or what? Yeah, that you know that's all I wanted to do. You know what I'm saying? And the whole time he was like, "You you promise you're not gonna expose me?" All, all of them in the messages. You know what I'm saying? You're not gonna expose me. I'm like, "Nah, I hope you ain't gonna expose me neither." 
You know what I'm saying? Shit. He asked me questions like, uh, so when was you curious? Like, that's that's all gay men persona to get, try to get a straight man. So you curious? Like, fuck no, bitch, I ain't curious. The fuck wrong with that? These niggas gay, man. Did y'all, I, I did y'all yeah. take any new so, pictures together? That, what? Did y'all take any new pictures together? Yeah, we took several, nigga. <laughs> so... <laughs> Listen, so right Monday I'm back I'm back in town and we messaging again right so he he asking me well, what are we gonna do with that cause I, like I said I messaged him as soon as I got back in town he like so what are we gonna do with that I want this nigga to lose all the way around so I'm telling him he gotta get a hotel room the sad part is he a broke ass punk too I ain't never seen no broke punk all the punks I know got money I don't know what's wrong with this punk, but this punk was so. He come out, he gotta wait till Friday. I'm like, man, I, I would if we would have waited to Friday, I would have had the room set up so fucking nice with cameras everywhere, cause this was gonna be a fucking awesome look. Yeah, yeah. So with that being said, <laughs> you're really showing him. <laughs> okay, motherfucker. Wait till you see this goddamn video. Let me see this well, fucking video. You, oh, shit. Start the video. You got to start the video at nine minutes. I'm going to post it on your wall. No, 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 not on my wall. No, 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 no. Send it to us. The name of the video is called How to Catch a Faggot. That's the well, name yeah, of the video. Yeah, I don't need, yeah, that's not, I don't need that on my wall. <laughs> <laughs> if you can send it to my yeah. messenger, I can catch a gander at it, but I don't need it like... <laughs> All right, well, see, here's the thing, right? I'm trying to get my YouTube account up there. You know, I need all the subscribers I can get, you know what I'm saying? How many do you have? It's, it's, hey, listen, it's nothing uh, sexually going on in this video, bro. I can assure you that. Motherfucker, did I just tell y'all niggas I'm heterosexual? I love women. <laughs> women, nigga. Y'all hear me? Women, nigga. I love him. So what so was it? What happened? What happened during this meeting then? Okay, so he, you met you met up with him. All the cameras. He can't. Y'all met in the house. Whatever. What happened? Okay, now nah, we see you gotta wait, nigga. We ain't at the house yet, nigga. Okay, okay, I'm you sorry. Wait, <laughs> nigga. We got to get to the house. So we messaging back and forth all day. He asking me. I'm telling him after he asked me about the hotel. When he told me, well, I can't get the hotel until Friday. Old broke ass punk. I said, okay, well, give me some time. Let me try to figure something out here, right? So then he messaged me back, right? And he's like, eh, my sister going to work. I was like, we can do it here. I was like, ding, 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 at his sister house. <laughs> okay, so we agreed to make this video. We agreed. So there's no misunderstanding on anyone's part you know what i'm saying we agreed to make this video so it seems to me like you're getting yourself deeper than just a, a picture that you had on the sofa hey listen around about eight o'clock nine o'clock i turn my uh instagram live on so i got my instagram live on got my phone in my pocket and i'm driving over here to this faggot's house and uh with that being said you know, I get to this house and he playing this fucking song. I can never fuck a chick to this song because the man was trying to fuck me to it. So that's kind of fucked up. Was it the thong was song by Cisco? Song. He was playing this song and this is where we're going to end this interview. And I'm going to send you the goddamn link. Hey, man, you got to subscribe to my YouTube channel and you got to start the video at nine minutes. All right. But you have to subscribe to my YouTube. Uh, well, you got to subscribe to our subscription. Are oh, you guys subscribed to our YouTube channel too? Uh, yes, yes. So, 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 when you subscribe to my YouTube channel, leave a message. Call me. Well, you guys, you guys are white, so you can't call me a nigger. Yeah, a no, nigger, we don't call anybody. They're gonna that. feel type of way about that. So, so, call me a pretty nigger. How about neighbor? Can I call you neighbor? <laughs> Say what, nigga? Can I call you neighbor? Yeah, yeah. Neighbor, please. Yeah. All right. Neighbor. I'll take neighbor. <laughs> it's very, it's very similar. Okay, I gotta ask you a question, real fast. So, so why do we have to skip to nine minutes in? Why didn't you just delete the first nine minutes? 
because I I I did delete the first nine minutes, but the twenty five minutes had had all these views, so I just said fuck it and left it up. Cause the fifteen minute one only got like six hundred views. Damn man, we lost you. Hang on one second. Okay, you there? Okay, so so it's on your YouTube right now. So if we tune into your YouTube channel, we can watch this video of you meeting this guy and clearing yourself yeah. of all wrongdoing in your mind. Yes. Okay. In my mind, nigga. In my mind, nigga. Hey, you, so, some people, been, some people, there's nothing this, wrong with that. This whole goddamn, this whole goddamn conversation, y'all nigga, been leaning toward that gay shit with me. No, we we nah, never said nothing. Know. This, I am free, nigga. No. You understand, neighbor? <laughs> <laughs> I feel you, my neighbor. <laughs> okay. Hey, but okay, so we'll leave we'll leave it on that where people have to go to your YouTube channel and subscribe, yeah. and they we'll have get to get you some yeah some subscribers. Yeah, man, because I'm trying to hit that thousand mark. You know what I'm saying? So hit that thousand mark. I'll I'll be all good and shit. You know what I mean? But I, I that's what I've been trying to hit. Where are you at right now? How many, how many subscribers you have right now? Huh? How many subscribers you have right now? Uh, like 400. All right. So you're almost halfway yeah. there. No, no, no. I ain't nowhere near all. Well, yeah, you go to the Real I'm Quick with Mike Swick podcast, subscribe, and we'll go to yours. Okay. All right, we're going we're gonna to leave it with, with having people go to your YouTube to watch this video because I'm... I'm pretty certain you're going to get a lot of views yeah. after this. Yeah, this going to be crazy. Because I, I definitely want to see this thing, encounter. So, yeah, right. so yeah, you got to go in your, uh, you go in your it, social it, media. Just tell us one thing. It, it, it ended a nice way, right? It, it was all like, uh, or can you tell us that? You said what? Did it end in a nice way? Uh, have a nice day, you fucking faggot. Hmm. Is that, is, that, is that good? No, listen. What I what I did in this well, video, though, man. What I did in this video. I saved us twenty five minutes. I, I can I can be an actor, man. What I did in this video, I can be an actor. Okay. But I'm gonna I'm I'm, I'm, I'm dying to let you niggas see this video. It's, it's got like twenty two hundred views right now. It's probably been up about two months. So what are the comments like? So we can get an idea. What what, what are the what is the you feedback? What? what is the feedback? The comments. What have people been saying? Oh well, uh, I mean, you know, they 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 always. Well, I haven't had anyone on there saying anything about gay bashing. You know what I'm saying? So I guess that's 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 pretty cool, Mike. You know what I mean? All right. But other than that, uh, yeah. But you guys will like this video. And I need my I, I need an acting job, man. Y'all 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 help a nigga out. I'm about to see y'all nigga this video now. How how we signed out? We just signed off, cause this shit tripping. I was just trying to send it to you, uh, and and it wouldn't. It was talking about pasting some shit. We ain't trying to paste shit, nigga. We trying to send this shit over. Yeah, I'm all right. right now. Maybe we hang up. You send it to me. All right, cool, man. All right, all right well we'll leave it at that, man. Thanks thanks a lot for uh, taking the time out to talk to us and telling us. Uh, all your stories, and yeah, uh, we're gonna follow you and see if this fight happens yeah, on good Saturday. Good luck on this fight, man. And we'll see what happens with you and Cody. Cody, right? Cody Fister. Yeah. All right, we'll see what happens Cody there. Fist. Cody P. Fist. I don't know if it's. <laughs> we might. We might do a follow up with you. Yeah, we might have you on again, man. Once a week. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so, man, stay in touch. Hey, let me send this. Yeah, send it to me when we hang up. All right. Send him those pictures too. Yeah, fuck no, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> All right, my neighbor. You be good, man. All right, take care, buddy. <laughs> what? Holy wow. shit. What the fuck? So what's your thoughts on that, man? All right, so there was a uh, Charles Bennett felony. Felony Charles Bennett. No more crazy horse. Man, that... that that went a lot of different directions than I expected, to be honest with you. I thought we'd talk about Ryzen and, and his uh, fights and how he trains. And yeah, he's pretty liberal with the uh, the slurs. Yeah, and for the record, you know, that's his opinion. That's yes. This uh, does not condone 
<laughs> the feelings of Mike and Mark. Yeah, well, yeah. So that that's you know he speaks for himself and he's still messaging us. Is he calling back or some shit? Uh, so so yeah, he speaks for himself as far as uh, his opinions there. Yeah, but he just, uh, he just wants us to send him PayPal. You see that? Oh, there's the video. Oh, there's a video. <laughs> he just sent the video. All right. So yeah. Well, you know what? You never know what we're gonna have on this podcast. This was a turn in a different direction, yeah. but hey, you know what? The the one thing about it is he is a personality in the sport, and and he's, and a, he's real. He's a he's a yeah he's real. You know, and you gotta admit. He and doesn't. He doesn't bullshit. He admitted to getting his ass kicked a few times. Yeah. In jail, like you know, you could easily. Well, I think it's. I think. Him. I think it's good to show all aspects of the sport and all yeah. the people that's involved. And and you know whether you support Charles or not, he's been a you know a fixture of the sport since yeah, and, the and, beginning. 60, 60 plus yeah. MMA fights. So you know he told a story, and we got to know Charles Bennett, and uh, hopefully we got to share that to people. And it's cool. Though, you know he feels about his kids and stuff. So I do hope the best for him, man. It'd be nice. I mean, to, I'll be honest with you. It must really suck, man, to yeah. be in a position where you're fighting like that, and you don't even know if the fight's on. Right. It's a small show, and you're trying to pay your internet and your rent. I mean, that's tough, man. Fuck. That's tough. That's tough for sure. The best one, man. I hope he, I hope he gets his win. Well, we'll see how that goes. You know, I mean, everything happens for a reason. But all right, well, that was a very unique, uh, very unique podcast. So yeah. Wow. Yeah. I guess Felony Charles Bennett. On to the next one. You know, see if we can yeah. top that. Pretty decent. All right, guys. Thanks for viewing, and uh, we'll see you next time. Wish Mike well in uh, Moscow. Yes. Pretty uh, horror show. Yeah. Teach him some uh, Russian. <laughs> Obviously, he needs it. Yes, so. Spicy, bro. That's it. All right, thanks, guys. Later, man.